Hey guys, welcome to the ultimate fight against Godo. Uh, I did hone... Is it, what is it called? Shadow Steel, I think? Once? Because I am pretty pissed off again about the sap situation. We have to inflict him with sap as well, win without Yuffie getting KO'd, and yeah, he has a fuckload of abilities. His only debuff on ability is, is of course sap, so of course we have to get sap in there. Yep. So we brought Yuffie with sap, Yuna is our healer. Uh, it's really a toss up between Yuna and Aerith really. Chose Yuna just because of the heavy region. I don't really need attack, I reckon. Um, Red 13, normal abilities. Yuffie, yeah, with the Shadow Steel and Drain HP, just in case the attacks get too overwhelming, at least she has um, Drain HP. Yeah, Sephiroth's in there. Titus, again, with a Striker. Uh, actually, I should switch those two around. Should have Yuna with the thing. Oops, I'll do that now, actually. So I'll do a little switcheroony. Lucky I discussed this. Where is Sephiroth? There we go, Mojo Mites. And Sephiroth can just have some damage dealing shit. Like, um... Heroic Stance, there we go. Significant bonus damage. That's always good. Uh, we'll go with Sentinels, of course. So, this one, the yellow mask does not exist. Godo switches the mask at the end of every turn. Red and white each has a normal weak and weak, very weak phase. When Godo becomes weak and very weak, he counters all attacks with Kiraga. Godo hits very hit. Hard now, especially Bioga. If you're wondering what I'm reading, it's the Buck Power website. As always, check it out. It's a really good website for you guys that really can't be bothered watching this. Um, Red Phase, in his normal, he uses Attack and Trine. You know what Trine is. Heavy lightning damage to all targets. Weak, he adds Beast Sword and Kiro Counter, like mentioned. Beast Sword does heavy physical damage to all targets. Very weak, he disregards attack. White phase, he uses Graviga, deal heavy damage proportional to one target. Biolga, which deals heavy poison damage to all targets. Drain, of course, you already know that. Weak, he only adds Cura, disregards... What does he disregard? He disregards Drain for Cura, and very weak is exactly the same, except he puts Gravija, which does heavy damage proportional to all targets this time. So, a load of information there, I know it will make your head spin, but um, we should get sap in there. If we get sap in, I think we'll be alright. Um, definitely need probably some AoE heals. If you have AoE heals, it'll be really, really good. And let's get to it. Uh, so we'll first cast all our breaks. Shadow Steel, I get units to Sentinels, and Power Break. Uh, should I Lunatic High first? Yeah, might as well. Yeah, so we're only using breaks. Our only support is Red 13. I think it won't be too bad. We are doing a pretty significant amount of damage, surprisingly. I'm actually really surprised about that. So, he has 286,400 HP. God damn it, that's a lot. Okay, we got the... Oh shit, did Sap even work? No, it didn't, right? Of course it didn't. Okay, he's switching heads again. Come on, Sap, please. Just work for me. Work at least once. I'd use him of the faith. Full break. Come on. I honed you! Ugh. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. Why does Sap never work? Is, is this a moderate chance of Sap, by the way? It probably is a moderate chance. It's a freaking four star. Never fucking works. Four stars! Let me kill you, man. I can't believe I waste that shit. I hate sap. Why why is everything freaking sap? Why can't it be poison? Come on. Got yeah, one more shot off this. Nope. Of course not. You fucking retard, Yuffie. 
Come on. Come on. One more shot. One more shot until I have to reset. I bet this is the only problem with this fight. Just freaking getting sap on. Looks like my party's all set though, to be honest. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's up! That's up! Okay, that's good. Yes! Okay, we got trying. Got trying done. That's okay. We use magic breakdown. I am happy now. I am happy days. Um, I'll do Diaga now. Slice and dice. I guess I'll do another armor break first. Guess I can keep stealing HP. We have 10 rounds. He's about to get pretty much half HP. It's gonna be quite a long fight because, yeah, he'll cure R himself all the time. Yoga. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. And it overwrites my region, I completely forgot that. And that will be pretty annoying. But at least region overwrites his uh, poison, so. It's a double edged sword. Okay, we'll use Shadow Flare, full break. Uh, should I heal up? I don't really need to heal up, but we will anyway. Slice and dice. Fuck it, let's do it. I wonder how much damage this is going to do. I don't have Armor Breakdown or Planet Protector, so probably uh, less than a lot. I expect to see, like, probably 10k damage. Similar to Sephiroth's Shadow Flare, anyway. It's still pretty good. I like bringing Titus instead of Cloud, just because of Slice and Dice. Okay, give me some HP back. Yep. Got Yuffie up on full! Uh, should I use Magic Breakdown? I guess so. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, oh, about 14-ish K? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, better heal up. What can she do? Oh, we can do Inspiring Light! I forgot I equipped the Holiday Mittens on her, so that's awesome. That's why I got the Holiday Mittens, guys, just because if I don't need Aerith. And need an AoE heal. If I had an AoE heal with Aerith, like a uh, Soul Break on Aerith which has an AoE heal, I would always use Aerith. Because then she would have an attack buff and a heal. Be absolutely fantastic. Same for Yuna, I guess. If she had an attack buff, I would always use Yuna. But I keep switching the two around. Okay, now we can get some decent damage in here. Okay, we got another Hymn of the Faith. I'll wait till he does another. Poison shit. There we go. <laughs> so we'll do it after. Whoa! Yep, that definitely wore off. And we'll heal up again. Okay, I need to hope for not another AoE attack. Yeah, I was a little bit worried. Shit, shit, shit. Come on, come on, come on. We need to get Sentinels. If we can get Sentinels, then we can do the Hymn of the Faith. Heal up to full, and we'll be all set for a while. Try and I think we're dead. We're not dead. Okay, we're not dead yet. We're dead soon, but not yet. This is very weak phase, so he's gonna go crazy with his um, AoE attacks now. So we really need to get him with the faith, or we're all fucked. We're all fucked. Then. Okay. Hmm. I think we're still dead, though. Not yet. Him of the Faith. Can still have HP. We need to get him of the Faith, or else we're fucked. We're fucked completely if we don't get him of the Faith. Can I cure? That's fine. If he does any sort of attack, then we're fucked. Yuffie's not gonna die anytime soon, though. Okay, we'll power break. B sword. How much is this gonna do? Yeah, we're dead, aren't we? Yeah. Ah, oh, so close though, so close. I think we can do it. Yeah, we have to defeat him without getting KO'd, unfortunately, so we have to restart, guys. But I think this fight wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, if we can get Sap right off the bat, it'll be fantastic. If we don't get Sap, then that would be fucking annoying. It all depends on the Sap. But I think the timing... I totally forgot about Sentinels because I'm so used to having Sentinels on me. Like with Tyra in the background, but now I don't have him. So now it's a little bit more annoying for me, not having sentinels, but I think we can still do it pretty well.
I can actually switch Lunatic out. I totally forgot to break Lunatic. I mean, um, Red 13's uh, cap. Oh well. I'll do it after this. Yep. Uh, so we got three more chances. Ouch. Yeah, we'll do the first round. Come on. Uh, Shadow Steel. Power Break. Okay, we got the full break on. I just need to heal up with the Yuna. Come on, please. Yuffie. No. <sighs> the thing is, I don't rage if it's my mistake. I rage if the luck isn't with me. When I have a fucking moderate chance to do something and it's not doing it. It's a freaking joke. They should really alter these um, percentages. It's a freaking joke. Moderate should mean at least 70% chance. Not a freaking 30% chance or whatever I'm getting at the moment. It's a freaking joke. I know some of you guys are with me. Maybe some of you guys have extreme luck and do it in one go, but... Look at this! Oh no, we got it! We got it! We got it! We got it. Okay, no more complaints. We can do this, guys. Okay, let's do another magic breakdown. I'm so close to honing... Full break another time. I'm not too sure if I should, because... Oh, that... What's the dancing one? Break Fever is coming out in a few weeks, which does uh, br full break on every enemy, but not. It doesn't do any damage, that's the thing. But it's really, really good. But the problem is it's a dancer ability, so you can't use it with Red 13, I believe. You only can use it with dancers like Mog and Tyro and stuff. Okay, that's alright. Do another full break. I really need to get the timing right, so I will use Sentinels halfway in. Shouldn't forget that. I really need to remember that. Okay, we'll still HP again. Yeah, it definitely saps doing a huge amount of damage. And it will keep doing a huge amount of damage, hopefully. Yoga. He's gonna ruin my Him of the Faith. Only on Titus, that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'll just heal up. Who should I heal up? Yuna. Should heal up Yuna. Thank god, um, Yuffie has the steel HP. It made life a lot more easier for Yuna, that's for sure. It's things that you kind of need to consider. I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to wait till Yuffie has her Inspiring Light just to get more damage output. There we go. Speak of the devil. And we should use this now. And we'll heal up. So I think we're making pretty good time. I'll use Slice and Dice with Titus very soon. Use Full Break now and use Slice and Dice, yeah. You almost got two Slice and Dices, so that's double the fun! Love Slice and Dice so much. Like a Super Soul Break for Titus. I reckon it's even better than a Super Soul Break. Jet Shot looks completely fucking awesome, but... Three attacks is really lacking. Okay, that's something. I know it'll probably do more damage, but the thing is, when you level up Titus to, I believe the cat is going to be like 120 or something, when you keep leveling people up, they will keep continuing breaking that damage cap. So having Titus with doing this low amount of damage is actually really good because he has huge potential later on, such as um, Zack's Buster Sword as well, which does a huge amount of damage. It does like Freaking 10 attacks or something, 8 attacks. Crazy damage later on. Yeah, I'll use Lunatic Eye now. Man, that was really good timing, actually. If he got a fair bit amount of HP back. Beast Sword. What is this? Does? 500. So, alright. I wonder if many of you guys will have trouble in this fight. It doesn't seem too bad, because a lot of you may have synergy already. Final Fantasy VII is probably the most common Final Fantasy where people have so much synergy. Then after that, probably Final Fantasy VIII or Final Fantasy X. I'll use him with faith now, fuck it. Yeah, pretty good time too. <laughs> uh, just in case, you know. Yeah, I'll use Power Break too. Counter Kira, that's alright. So he's gonna keep using Counter Kira anyway. Use a Magic Breakdown. I really need to hone these more. 
that's the thing. Need a home, full break, more, need a home, magic, all the breakdowns more, really. But the thing is, they cost so much greater orbs and stuff, so it's a little bit tough. Even for me, it's a little bit tough to catch up because of having life siphon with two characters. Maybe I shouldn't have used them for two characters, but I'm, the thing is, in the future, I'm considering using Titus and maybe Squall in pretty much most of my fights. Because, just because I have their soul breaks, really. If I have Cloud's burst super soul break one day, I would always use Cloud. If I have, like... It's all dependent on your soul breaks, really. What do you have? If you have good soul breaks on one character, definitely bring that character. There's no certain character that you shouldn't bring. Even Yuffie as well. Having her heal um, her Wu Tai headband is a really, really big advantage. Man, that was awesome. I think we should be able to do this now. There you go. Bam! Ultimate fight done. Very, very easy, actually, this one. Just because of the synergy I have. I've I'm expecting the Final Fantasy IX one to be extremely difficult for me because I only have freaking two daggers as synergy. <laughs> so that's why I'm considering drawing on that one. That's why it says to be announced in Mog's thing. Yep, we just got it. Red and non elemental, and we got all the stuff. Pretty damn good. I wonder what Godo's Mask does. It's another piece of synergy to, to have in your accessory list. It's good to have. It's good to have. Okay, let's see. Inventory. Uh, this one. 20 attack! Whoa! That is a really, really good one, actually. That's actually really surprising to me. Yeah, I can use that in Final Fantasy IX as well. I believe that's the highest accessory, highest attack accessory out. So definitely go for that one. Look at that. That's fucking good, isn't it? Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a good one. Yeah, we'll see you in the Beatrix event. And if you don't know, I announced on Facebook that I'm actually going to do a Final Fantasy playthrough. Let me know in the comments what Final Fantasy you want me to play. Seems like the majority went wants me to play the later ones, a few want me to play the earlier ones. I was thinking more on the earlier ones, but then again, Final Fantasy such as Final Fantasy VIII was probably my favourite one, so I'm kind of leaning towards that one. A few people said Final Fantasy VIII, a few people said Final Fantasy IX. A lot, uh, I believe it's like 50-50 on the old ones and the new ones. So let me know guys, I'll see you guys later.